Hey beautiful people, this is Sister with the creator and founder of Unfertilized Eggs, back with another video for today. We're on day 25 of 30 days of journaling in the 90 day, 90 day journal for child free women that's available on the website unfertilizedeggs.com and today's topic is a very awesome one as usual. <laughs> Every story in this journal is awesome but today I really wanted to talk about this because you know, it's such a taboo to be considered selfish. And I talked about this briefly in another video, kind of sort of with this same title, but this one I go into more depth and more detail about the word selfish. So let's get to it. And this is coming from day 81 in the 90 day, 90 day journal. All right, so let's get to it. The topic is being selfish should be celebrated. And today's quote comes from an unknown author where it says, there's actually nothing wrong with being selfish. When boarding an airplane, the stewardess asks you to put your life jacket on first, right? If you really sit back and think about it, there's nothing actually wrong with being selfish. If we don't take care of our own needs and place them first, how are we able to serve others? It makes sense, right? Because you can't pour from an empty cup. As a child-free woman, your selfishness is actually self-awareness. You choose to do what's best for you and that should be celebrated. Think of the women who believe motherhood was something that they were supposed to do. So they took that route and are now unhappy. At least you took a step back to analyze yourself and determined that being a mother doesn't best serve you, no matter what society says. Again, your selfishness is celebrated in my eyes, so don't allow others to tell you otherwise. And that rhymed. I didn't, I didn't think about that. I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> that last part, it rhymed. So yeah, I got bars naturally. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, um, if you haven't watched this video before, if you're new to the channel, I wrote this journal to support the child-free community, to support child-free women. It's the 90-day journal for child-free women. Um, it includes, you know, my own personal stories as well as 25 celebrity child child free celebrity stories and then there's daily affirmations and then there's a self-love letter at the beginning there's a playlist in the back there's um daily gratitude prompts too for you to reflect on what you're grateful for today and there's a plethora of other things in here too so um you do a disservice if you don't have this journal so make sure you go ahead to grab to the go to the website and grab a copy <laughs> and i will autograph it and ship it off to you asap um but yeah, so let's get back to the topic today, you know, talking about some of the stuff I read. But yeah, it's nothing wrong with being selfish. Don't look at that as a bad thing. Don't let people make you feel bad for being selfish because you have to put your needs first before anybody else anyway. Um, if you were to, you know, go out and have children because somebody wanted you to have a child or they felt that it was the right thing to do, you know deep within whether that's right for you or not. Who cares about, you know, it's the right thing to do or just because you're a woman you're supposed to have a child because that's what by you know you're supposed to do biologically no mentally you know spiritually look at yourself examine you know how you are as a person and i'm not even saying that not being a mother is a bad thing but examine who you are as a person if you like your freedom if you love to spend money on whatever you want to spend money on and if you just you don't want to, you know, deal with motherhood and the, all the, the, you know, the job that comes with it, then don't do it. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, if they call you selfish for doing it, shrug your shoulders just like I did and say, so what? Um, you know, you're being self-aware. That's what they really should be saying. Because I wouldn't say nine times out of 10, I don't know, might be, but I'll say seven times out of 10, if you were to ask a mother, if they had a choice or if they you know could have had an opportunity to wait a little while or not have children at all i bet you a lot of them would choose the latter route as opposed to you know instead of having children they would either wait or not have them at all i guarantee you that because yeah there's been some stories i listened to and then i also follow this youtube um group where it says i regret having children or something like that and some of the stories I read is like, oh my God, I just wish more people knew that they have a choice in waiting or even not having a child to begin with. It's like, 
yeah, you're not obligated to be a mother. You, it's, it's optional. I think I have that on my Instagram. I have one of those um, quotes or whatever. It says motherhood is optional. No, it says motherhood is not an obligation. It's optional, something like that. Some of y'all might have seen it already before, know what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, who cares what they said about you being selfish? Own it, that's what I do, you know? I say, I correct them, say, no, I'm not selfish, I'm just self-aware. And the point I made earlier, you know, you have to take care of yourself first, your needs first, especially on the airplane. Think back to what they ask you to do. If you ever, you know, flown a plane or um, rode on a plane before, they ask you to put your life vest on first and then help others. So, I mean, that's great logic right there for it. any type of advice regarding life situations and, you know, putting yourself first, putting your needs first. So I hope y'all enjoyed today's video, today's topic. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Um, did I, I think I forgot to read today's question. Wow, I just went off on a tangent. <laughs> so the question for today, if you're new to the channel, I read um, the journal prompt. And then on the next page, there's a question for you to reflect on that relates back to the journal prompt so today's question is what will be your response the next time someone calls you selfish for not having children so leave it leave a comment down below if you want to of what you know you'll what your response will be will you clap back at them will you be nice to them or will you just ignore them so yeah leave a comment down below let me know what you're gonna say to them if they ever call you selfish or when they do call you selfish, because eventually at some point it's going to happen. But anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you um, like, comment, and share with someone who you feel needs to hear it. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing? Hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified or so that you'll see new videos when they do get uploaded. I thank y'all so much for watching today's video. See you next time. Bye.